Hello everybody. Welcome back. It's GB. Today is an extra video. And by extra, I mean extra special. <laughs> but for real, I'm finding it very hard to contain my excitement over this video. Um, it's one that I really, really wanted to do, hence why I, we made it fit, you know? Um, so thank you so much to Be So Lovely for sponsoring today's video and for sending me so many gorgeous pieces from their upcoming RPG collection. Be So Lovely is a small business. It consists of seven amazing individuals. It is women-owned with an incredible, diverse team. And they make, as you probably guessed, the most stunning jewelry. So today I'm going to be showing you some rings and some necklaces from the upcoming collection. I am going to put all the information in the description box below if you are feeling impatient. Otherwise, I encourage you to sit back, relax, and enjoy this ASMR video. So let's go one at a time and really show off each piece. Some of the rings I do have matching necklaces for, so we can do that. But let's start with the bard ring. Each ring does come in either gold, silver, or rose gold. I have the gold bard ring. And let's see how it looks on. I really love this one because I'm kind of sucker for anything musical as well, so for me it's like a little bit of a double, double fun feature. We have really gorgeous musical notes, there's a treble clef, and these tiny white gems. It gives it a little bit of a glitter. Now, I don't know what class you, the viewer, typically are in RPGs, games, tabletop, JRPGs. Um, for me personally, um, I was always a ranger slash archer. I always liked the idea of being really strong, but being kind of like far away from the battle. I also will say I do appreciate giant axes. I do have a thing for huge beefy characters with just big axes and they're coming in. Like that's the person I want to be, but I think I know in my heart realistically I am more of a bard or an archer and there's nothing wrong with that. I just, you know, want to give my beefy beefy characters the love they deserve to. It looks awesome on the hand. All these pieces are, I think, just a perfect sort of middle ground of subtle but obvious. Like, it's not so subtle that you're like, oh, well, it could be like misconstrued for something else. Like, I like that they really did go all in with the designs and make it clear which class each one is supposed to be, and I've really never seen anything like it. All right, here we have not only the bard ring, but the bard necklace as well. Here is the main treble clef here. Tiny little musical notes, 
And these gems are white. I have some pink lighting on it right now, but I can change that. Back to white in a moment, just so you can see sort of like the true coloring. The necklaces are all very similar, so it looks like this. It has an icon on the front. If you flip it over to the back, really cute detail. It gives you plus a certain number of a skill. So this is plus five charisma if you wear this necklace. Which, like, you know, I'll take it. I will take it. Now I will say that you should be checking out their Kickstarter. There we go. And the Kickstarter is going to be linked in my description box. I think, as I said, the Kickstarter itself isn't live when I'm shooting this video, but it should be live very shortly. And you can put yourself on the waiting list to get emailed so you can be one of the first backers. You can also sign up for the SMS campaign to get more details about the RPG collection in general. I love this one. It's so beautiful. Next up, we have the rogue. Now, this is an awesome ring. This is the silver one. It has a tiny little purple gem above the dagger. I feel like this one is so badass. And the white gems on the outside sort of like splaying outwards. Stunning. So this one is, I think, more, like I said, pretty badass. Um, you have like the bard who's like just singing their songs, having a good time, reciting their poems. And then you have the rogue who's gonna come behind you. Maybe just give you like a slight little shank, like don't worry, you won't even notice it's happening. Um, I love this ring. Once again, if you look at it, you can see exactly what it is. But from far away, maybe you don't know, which I think is perfect for a rogue. Listen, I don't know what this frog has to do with the rogue ring. But we're going with it. And here we have the beautiful details of our rogue ring and a matching necklace. You can really see the purple gem. Let's see what sort of bonus we get from this necklace. Ooh. That is plus five luck. What would you do with plus five luck? It's like not enough to like go buy a lottery ticket. Maybe I would go, you know, bet on a horse or something. <laughs> Maybe I would just go to bar trivia and try to win that. I would get super lucky and all of the categories would be things that I'm obsessed with. Avatar, The Last Airbender. Oh, don't mind if I do. No, no. Last time I went to bar trivia, it was Back to the Future. And I'm like, listen... I was born in 94, you gotta, you gotta cut me some slack, people. Let's get some purple lighting on this piece. Wow. <laughs> I think this 
Christmas. A really good, like, fantasy vibe. Got the chain here. Fantastic. Here we have the powerful warrior ring in silver. This one is gorgeous. I love the red stone. I think it's perfect for warrior class. These are the fighters, the classics. Everybody wants to be a warrior. <laughs> I think at some point, right? I like that there's the combination of not only the two swords, but the shield as well. And there's little, little, little white stone details as well. And pose. Pose. I love that trigger. I don't know if anybody has heard of kind of, it's like a very, like a mega niche trigger is the pose and pose and pose <laughs> shout out to Kelly Belly okay and here is our warrior ring that red is just beautiful I kind of move the light around Some of the shine there. And I kind of want to turn the light red. Wow. I like that. You can see the two swords and the shield. I like this one quite a bit. smooth band, which I think is nice. It looks strong. Very cool. I really like the stone shapes of this one. What do you think? Let me know. <laughs> do you have a favorite yet? It's so hard to choose. does make you feel strong, <laughs> of course. And here is the matching warrior necklace. Matching little red gemstones. And this gives you plus five the ring quite well. Again, the two swords and the shield. I like the idea of wielding two swords and a shield somehow. Like, I don't know how I would do it, but I just want to do it. That's what I'd like. Thank you very much. Next, we have the Druid ring in silver. Druids are the class that I think I might be the most unfamiliar with. They scare me, you know. But I do know that druids tend to harness the power of nature, so it's absolutely perfect. This ring is so dainty and beautiful. It has little leaf details. And then the middle gem, it's more of a... It reminds me of, like, it's a very circular smooth gemstone. Reminds me of an opal. The band is reminiscent of like wood or a twig. Some sort of like organic shape, which I think is so fantastic. It's 
is a nice thin one. I have very long fingers, so I tend to like super like bulky rings that take up a lot of space. But I really like how the sun looks. Here we have the druid ring up close. Hopefully you can see what I'm talking about with the band. It has a like organic wood texture to it. So obviously I had to put this in a bed of moss. Oh come on, that looks amazing. I love this one. We've got the tiny leaves. The spherical gem in the middle. Turn the ring this way. You can see. It's beautifully dainty. Very mystical, mystical, mystical. Mystical ring. And here is the matching druid necklace playing into the nature I thought like um it's a little bit more saturated light blue almost a turquoise color this one gives you some mega ups okay we've got plus three wisdom and plus seven hp that's pretty good maybe i should play druid more I keep thinking that I have a favorite. It's so hard to choose, but oh, this one. I, oh my god. This is the healer. I love playing healers. I really do. It's my weakness. I, like I said, I always want to be the big badass with the giant axe. But healing, to me, is so satisfying. Yes, I was a mercy fiend. All I'm saying is the healers, they literally keep the team alive. It is so satisfying to be able to bring people back to full health. Like, your enemies, they try so hard to take you down, but mm -mm -mm, I'm just gonna undo everything you just did. All your hard work, gone. I just find it so satisfying. So... I really love this ring. This one is a little bit bigger, so you can see it like suits my long, my long fingers. It's got a gorgeous, very nicely spaced out halo. I really like that there's like space in between each of the stones. And then there are wing shape side pieces. Which to me, I'm like super reminiscent of like Mercy. So, you know, I love it. And then there's, it looks like a little cross going through the whole thing. I'll show you more close up. This one is in silver, of course. You can see. <laughs> I'm just saying, unsung hero, the healer, needs more credit. Not biased. Here is the beautiful healer ring up close and the matching necklace. Little plus sign, little cross, halo and wings, tiny light blue gems. And on the back you get plus five wisdom. Now wisdom is more than intelligence, it's also being smart about your surroundings, which I think is very important for a healer. I'll give you a little bit of a close-up. I have a magnifying glass. You can see almost opal-like little stone. Like I said, you can probably see better up close now the halo around of the spacing of each tiny gem. And the 
the cross that's going all the way through the ring side little wing detail next the archer ring as I said this is a class that is near and dear to my heart it's one that I end up picking a lot in games um I just find it so fun, and this design is absolutely gorgeous. It features an arrow wrapping around your finger, and then, you can't miss it, the gorgeous green stone in the middle. I'm just gonna say it, archer equals green. It just does. I don't make the rules. Here is my evidence. I agree. And I really like the green with the gold as well. And you get a tiny white stone detail here. This one is very unique. I love the shape of it. It looks really cool on your hand. Something different. Again, you can't miss it. This is an arrow. This is archer. This is ranger. And yet, it's also an elegant, beautiful piece of jewelry. So this one's also my favorite. How can you choose? I can't choose. And the beautiful archer ring up close. This one has a really great stone in the middle. With a little white stone detail there. Hiding in the trees, all of a sudden, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> That's what I like about it. <laughs> oh my gosh. This one looks so good. And like I said, be so lovely is a small business, woman owned, they're just really, really, really cool people, and I'm so happy to show off some of their pieces. They do have some for sale right now from their past collections as well. So of course, I'll just put the website in the description, too. This one also works if you're just like a cat in this Everdeen fan, you know. What happened to the Hunger Games? Where is that now, you know? <laughs> I didn't finish the last couple of movies because I was so upset with how the books ended. I can see myself wearing this one a lot. I like the pop of color. And finally, for the rings, we have, and this is one of their unisex designs. There are more dainty designs, um, and more unisex designs, and once again, you should definitely check out the Kickstarter, because there's going to be more options to see, just beyond the pieces that I'm showing you in this video. Um, but of course, and Be So Lovely emphasizes as well, please feel free to choose whatever jewelry fits you, like what you like to wear, what you think is pretty, or what, you know, any class that you like. So here is the Necromancer. This one is so cool. It's like, it's too cool for me to wear. Um, this one has red and blue gemstones, which I actually love. I've never owned anything with red and blue, like it's always just one color. And then in the center, we have the little skull. So the necromancer, they deal with 
bring the dead back to life sort of thing. Um, I have never played as a necromancer in anything. I feel like they're, they're a certain type of people. But they're very cool. Very cool. Um, dealing with, I guess, sort of like dark magic. That's the vibe I get anyway. This one comes with a really cool band. It's a little bit thicker and it has like the two sides and then the middle is sunken in. I'll show you in more detail. This is in gold. I think it looks really awesome in gold. And the diamond shape. This ring looks like it gives you powers. And the skull is nice because once again, you can see it. It's a skull, but it is like smaller. It's not like a giant skull ring, which is cool too, but you know. Very badass. All right, finally our necromancer ring. I wanted to give it a cool backdrop. But let me show you. Close. I feel like this one is awesome for. And there we go. Oh my gosh. Can you see that detail? I gotta be careful to hold it in place. Like I said, I really like the combination of the red and blue gems. It looks extremely royal, if that makes sense. band, you can see how it indents down there now. And I think the shape of this one is really powerful, which I enjoy. <laughs> Man, it is so hard to choose a favorite. But I'd be very curious to know which one you like best. Now, before we move on, I also just want to show this paladin necklace. I don't have the ring match to show, but this has got some gorgeous blue stones. I think paladins are really fun characters. This gives you three strength and two wisdom. Pretty good. Is it as good as our druid? You tell me. I guess it depends what you're looking for. And I did just want to show you guys a little shot of all the rings together. Because, come on. <laughs> they look absolutely stunning. This is the box that mine came in. And the little ring box is here, of course. I just pulled the foam up so you could see a little bit better. And here we have the necklaces, minus the healer one I'm currently wearing. I really wanted to use this magnifying glass. Let's see what we can get. Whoa. I think I'm just reflecting my own lights. <laughs> it kind of works though. Silver and gold here. And there we have it. All the ring 
things together, at least most of them, um, all the ones I was sent. But again, please check out the Kickstarter, check out BeSoLovely.com, check out their social media. I will post absolutely everything in the description box. So you can see all of the options. And once again, thank you so, so much to the Be So Lovely team for being such nice and awesome people, first of all. And secondly, for sending me so many beautiful pieces from your collection. Congratulations on your launch. Good luck with your Kickstarter. I hope you all enjoyed this little mini fashion show video. And I hope you all have a wonderful night's sleep. Of course, please comment below. I'd be super interested to hear what class you are, which of the pieces you liked the best. I love hearing all that kind of stuff, so feel free to post a comment or two or three, you know, I can't stop you. Good night, everybody. <laughs>